friends i am shorab welcome to technical skills linux so in this video i am going to show you how to install maggi os xi manual install in centos here i am using google clouds okay within just 5 minute you just install maggi os xi manual okay so now here you can see that is my uh, google cloud that's what i'm just create the centos for install maggi os okay so now this scroll down here and just select change the os uh here i'm just select uh, uh, centos 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 8 so storage is i'm just change for 24 gb so as per your server requirement so now i'm just scroll down here and allow http and, and also that http yes so next yes uh, my server is ready so now i'm just uh open the browser in my server console so yes uh, my server is uh console that you can see so now i'm just check the server version so you can see that tend to us uh 8 linux release 8 so now just uh, go to the root root directory into the uh, root so now i'm just uh, click on uh, nagios support okay support uh, that that is official website okay that is uh, nagios os manual installation so now i'm just click on uh, documents for nagios install so here i'm um, do nothing anything so you can just read out in this document very careful i'm just run one thing uh, just run this script okay nothing else in a extra not uh, headache so i'm just copy this uh, uh, script and now i'm just paste here so you can see uh, no i'm nothing do anything other uh, he extra headache or extra knowledge i'm just only for copy the uh, url negligence script install.ch and just run so uh, when you just run the script within just few minute it it install everything and configure also everything okay so, just wait for 5 uh, minutes so in definitely everything is uh, done uh, yes you can see here our here so nagios xi installation is complete and so now you can access nagios os for that your ip address okay so now i'm just to go my aws console so here that is dashboard my aws i'm just copy the ip address and just paste here over here i'm just enter mm. So welcome. I click to install and to access for NagOS XI. I'm just click here. So here you can see uh, that is my URL. Uh, that is my URL. I'm just copy for here. So now I'm just paste. And so you can see that time zones is. Uh, you, you if you want to change, you can do it. So now everything is right. If your server is HTTPS, so then you can just check. Okay, uh, but uh, that is time is no on it and license. Uh, I have I have the style license for. Now next, here you just use a name and also type your password. I'm type the password. Ah, uh, type the password. Uh, okay, one two three four five six seven eight nine. This is my password. Okay, and um, just type your email address if you are uh, email address. So then type it. Type your email address now. I'm just finish to install. So Nagios is X X I installation. So. It's complete. So now within just few minute, thing install. Yes, installation complete. So that is my username and password. So now I'm a login. So just click over here. So now I'm just go. I uh, can see here a uh, dashboard for Nagios login. So I'm just copy my dev username. Here is username, face and password is that. Password is. at for login just now login um never to set the password now yes just read out the your license agreements everything okay so now i am check that i have read and understood so now submit the license so over here uh, that is main xi uh, dashboard uh, you can see a one uh, for uh, 30 day uh, license expired license i am just uh, close it so now here you can see dashboard for nagi nagios xi okay so now if you want to your server uh, i am just uh, go to the dashboard so here everything is monitoring so tool so now i am add my another server then just configure 
if you want to uh, add your uh, most hosts so most uh, another server another host now just go here and just uh, my server is that uh, linux server so i'm just to go over here so here you can see uh, if you just uh, for configure if you want to uh, windows uh, monitoring so windows server linux server network uh, everything is in here i am just uh, uh, add the my linux server so i am just monitoring the remote linux server here i am just uh, select linux server uh, for monitoring remotely so here i am just put the my server ip here i am just for example uh, that is for i am just if you want to another server just copy the another server ip address and just put here over here and uh, select the oper operating system the same to us now i am click so over here you can see uh, yes uh, uh, is this a step to here everything is um, set up the if you uh, if you want to uh, which service you need this monitoring my square says to be syslog i'm just uh, as for uh, monitoring so now i'm just guess, check the next so over here uh, yes five minutes and just finished so uh, for for this step you, you add the another remotely server uh, everything uh, run okay so now i'm go the uh, status for the remotely server uh, you can see everything so the run uh, pending for services ct so over in this process you can easily uh, easily add your uh, server as you add your another uh, networking network so it's monitoring for this process so that's all in this video thank you for uh, watching my video if any query so please uh, um, comment me answer if my video is any help to you so then please like and subscribe my channel thank you thank you so much have a nice day